So starting out really light, landmine, really light as in just 35 pounds on this, uh, that's actually an axle bar I'm using, so I like to use that in case it does take some abuse. If I happen to drop it or something, I, it's just an axle bar. I'm doing these landmines, watching the old EAS transformation contest, body of work, and I said, well, I think it's called body of work, right? I just said that. And over there on my wall, the other side of the TV, above the 1958 Playboy magazine, a huge two by three foot poster that says body of work on it. 60 pounds, I'll keep going up. Adding 10 pounds at a time, 15 pounds at a time. It's funny, they were talking about uh, giving away a red Lamborghini on this EAS contest that I'm watching here on the, Let me see what that looks like. the screen while I'm working out. And uh, wanted to change bodybuilding by having this contest. And so, yeah. I announced it in the magazine. It really did. If any of you were around back then, uh, well, the whole the EAS phenomenon days, changed the kind of the way supplements were sold and, uh, I mean, and took it mainstream it and brought in celebrity in He's endorsements. He's I remember the Broncos, so uh, the Shannon Sharp, Elway, and all of them were on board with it and uh, were in the EAS gear and everything. So they really did accomplish that. They made a ton of money off of it. Everybody won. Exactly. Right. I have a picture. I tried to start working out, but it's going through a war situation at that time. I was having a hard time completing it. So. But I did make some gains. I did lose some weight. Got pretty lean. I think I did about as good as Abbas, but I'll post a picture of it. Okay, I got 75 pounds on there now. <laughs> I'm watching this thing and uh, I got old Forrest on there. He was the level above Ab Ansley and age and stuff, which he was younger than I am now by a long shot. He was in it. But it's just funny watching this thing because it doesn't matter. I encourage you to watch this video. It's called Body of Work. Um, even on days when I don't feel that motivated to work out, I watch these guys and Kind of lifts you up and gets you in the mood. I was the same person. Seventy-five. I said, "This is not who I am. I've got more character. I should find the time to cut out the junk, and I did." People at the gym were kind enough after they saw that I was in on doing this. They gave me a kick. Or maybe it was Porter, not Porter. Go. C 
seal rolls. In case you didn't notice, starting and finishing with the 45 pound plate, so hopefully I'll go up. Okay guys, doing this workout in two segments today because last night I was in a hurry to get shoulders done and I didn't do my back so now I'm combining back with leg but I'll still have a day to recover before I get into any heavy lifting again. So I'm going to finish this last seal row and then I'll do some uh, uh, landmine rows. First and foremost, you want to make sure you get a good stretch. You don't want to totally lean forward too far and arch your back to the point where you're going to hurt it. So you do want to make sure to stretch out all the muscles in your back at the very peak position. Try to get your feet in your body. Bodybuilding.com training while I'm doing this. Leaning into the movement a little bit. Hold out a back thing. that, I end up just about straight. With a movement like barbell rows, you can't just come in and just pile on the weight. So I'm going to start a little bit lighter, and as the fatigue sets in and whatnot, then I'm going to move up the weight because you definitely have to build up to it. When it comes to a movement like barbell rows, you need to use your back, your glutes, your hamstring. It uses a lot of muscle groups. <laughs> so keep in mind, you need form that's safe, but you need to move weight. In terms of sets of I don't reps, have a lot of weight on the leg. Anywhere from you know, 8 to 20 reps. As we start and the weight is a little bit lighter, reps are going to be a little bit higher. And as the weight builds, the reps are likely going to drop. Chances are in the last set we may do a few it's reps. It's only like 135 pounds. So. This will serve to not only give us a little like bit of weight off the cable rows and the barbell rows, because after that, the ass is going to be kicked a little bit. My advice is to try to keep your back as straight as possible. Really almost picture not moving your back at all. Your arms are going to extend and your lats are going to stretch, but you're going to do everything you can to use your lats to move the weight. It's inevitable that you're going to use some biceps, but don't go leaning back. Try to use your lats as much as possible and keep your back straight.